And we are learning more this hour about the tragic motorcycle accident that claimed a child's life. We brought you this story as breaking news at 6 o'clock. Ross Plater is live in Hyattsville right now by the mall at Prince George's Plaza with what witnesses are saying. Kelly, there are lots of unanswered questions here tonight. How fast was that motorcycle traveling? The car that he struck, did it have a left turn signal? Now, this happened near the entrance to the mall at Prince George's, and we've noticed a couple things tonight. One, there is a traffic camera there. Another, what looks like to be a security camera here. They may help investigators find answers to those questions. The debris scattered along East West Highway tells much of the story of the deadly crash. Police say it happened around 4.15 in the afternoon. A motorcycle was heading westbound when it collided with a car that was attempting to make a left-hand turn. Off-camera, a witness tells us the driver of the motorcycle went airborne. The bike kept going up onto the sidewalk, striking a group of pedestrians. And in the chaos, shoppers described the desperate attempts to save a life. I didn't see them moving. They were, I saw them trying to revive them, resuscitate them. I did see that. But despite rescuers' best efforts, one of the victims, a child, did not survive. Accident reconstruction scene investigators spent hours examining and collecting evidence as they try to piece it all together. Circumstances leading up to the accident currently remain under investigation. Meanwhile, stunned shoppers looked on, knowing that in a split second, it could have happened to anyone. Memorial Day, and there's always something going on that's, that's worthy of prayer, and that's all we can do, pray for full recovery. Now that orange marking there you see is the path that the motorcycle took those pedestrian standings right near the crosswalk here. Police not giving out a lot of information tonight about the child that died or the other victims. The officer did tell us she did not believe there were other life-threatening injuries. Live in Hyattsville on Ross Plater, ABC7 News. Roz, thank